example, it is 70 years to the day when Raoul Wallenberg arrived in Budapest to begin his heroic and historic mission on behalf of the War Refugees Board, and I bring huge congratulations to Mr. Baruch Tannebaum, the founder of the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation, and Mr. Eduardo Onikian, the president and chairman of the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation. Gold medal ceremony taking place this afternoon would not be possible at all without your focus, your dedication, and making sure that's making this happening with my good friend and the Freelander Group. I thank you for bringing this to all of our attention. Congressional Gold Medal is one of the nation's highest civilian awards bestowed on individuals who have made a lasting impact on American history and culture. Only 31 non-Americans have been recognized with this honor, so it is fitting that we honor Raoul Wallenberg and celebrate his legacy. Someone who has inspired millions of Americans across the country to pursue their dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, from the great state of Texas, Senator Ted Cruz. I'm grateful for Ezra's friendship and leadership. And it's an incredible honor to, 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 to have the chance to, to, to recognize the heroic acts of Raoul Wallenberg today. I commend the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation for nearly 50 years of service in keeping the legacy of Mr. Wallenberg alive. It is a particular honor that I have been asked to present an award to Eduardo Ronekian for his service to the foundation. Thank you. To put this done by a very famous artist in Israel, uh, and we hope it's a surprise for him. And we hope you will keep it with you. You, Eduardo, enriched very much the life of the Wallender Foundation. You did. With the contribution of your intelligence, your energy, and your high val standard values. Good people can make a difference. And I think you are making a difference. In the name of the International Royal Wallenberg Foundation, please allow me to state that we are truly pleased to see this great man presented with the Congressional Gold Medal. I extend a warm thank you to the men and the women of both the United States Senate and the House of Representatives. Nina, please excuse me. Uh, I will interrupt my words to give a special homage to Nina. A medal in which you can see Nina and, and her brother. Nina. It's interesting today, you, you look and you see streets named after Wallenberg. You see the legacy as we try to bring more public attention, and that's the right thing to do. Will we be the role Wallenbergs of the 2014 period? Will we speak up and say no to the Iranians' desire to get a nuclear weapon? Are we going to stand by Israel as the rockets fly? By bestowing this special congressional gold medal to remember the courageous acts of Mr. Wallenberg, we really are speaking for all Americans to carry that very powerful message. One person can make a difference. You know, when I think of Raoul Wallenberg, I also think of our former colleague, uh, Tom Lantos the only Holocaust survivor to serve in the House of Representatives. Both were men of great integrity and courage. And this is a day that we have looked forward to, but we also need to mark in history that uh, uh, one person can make a difference. We really don't need to make any long introductions to Senator Carl Levin, chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, been a passionate fighter for human rights. Raoul Wallenberg could not save every Jew and he could not end the Holocaust. But he did what all of us should do. He did what he could. He did what he could. And so should we all. 1944, Roll Wallenberg found that injustice in Hungary. Because of his work and his effort, almost 100,000 Hungarian Jews were saved from the, from the concentration camp. I'm not a Swede or a Jew or anything else. I'm just somebody who knows that if you don't stand up for other people, this society becomes very, very uncivil very quickly.
as someone who has been appointed to serve as a representative of the Senate on the United States Holocaust Memorial Council, uh, a, a council to which I was appointed by the President of the United States, it is a great pleasure for me to introduce Senator Al Franken. This is just one way we can pay tribute to the man who did so much for so many. I know that Ezra Friedlander, who is here today, uh, played a key role in helping make this happen. Thank you. Uh, I'd also like to join you in honoring Brooke Tem Tenenbaum, Eduardo uh, Yurnekian. And the story of Raoul Wallenberg, who I, I the, the Swedes here can tell me what his title was. It was a pretty modest title of uh, being a consular official to, uh, to take that job and save 100,000 people. He was a businessman acting on a Swedish diplomatic mission financed by the U.S. War Refugee Board. Through creativity and enormous courage, he saved tens of thousands of Hungarian Jews from perishing in Holocaust. There was a, a fairly long period when I wouldn't say that Raoul Wallenberg and his fate was entirely forgotten. That would be to exaggerate slightly. But it was neglected. It was not at the center of attention, certainly not in Sweden, and neither was it in the yeah. United yeah. States. So grateful to Senator Gillibrand. You have allowed us to apply in real life the message that is inscribed on the actual Congressional Gold Medal coin itself. He lives on through those he saved. That applies to my children and grandchildren. This is a painting that was painted by the, by the same person who was a spy who caught Adolf Eichmann. He was a spy and he was a painter. And he gave it as a present to Baruch Tenenbaum in Argentina after after he caught Eichmann, and he painted this picture. Is if you can see, this is the map of Hungary, and this is the face of Raoul Wallenberg. And he wrote a beautiful, beautiful text over there. The same hands that caught Eichmann are the hands that painted this picture. This is a present from Eduardo and from Baruch to you. On the medal itself are written the words, his legacy lives on in the people he saved. That could not be more true. His legacy lives on in the people he saved and everyone in this room who was touched by his life. The champion in the House of Representatives that made today's day possible was Representative Nan Hayworth, who tirelessly, fearlessly, passionately advocated until we were over the finish line. Raoul Wallenberg not only redeemed tens of thousands of innocent lives, he redeemed all of humanity at a time when a diabolical regime was threatening to destroy its very soul. Wallenberg saved people. Those were Hungarian citizens, my country citizens. Uh, he did that at a time when <clears throat> the population looked the other way, and some of them were actively cooperating in the deportation of the Jews. We're honored as members of Congress to be able to participate in this gold medal ceremony uh, to keep the memory of Raoul Wallenberg alive. This hero of humanity, whom Adolf Eichmann referred to as the Judenhung Wallenberg, the Jewish dog Wallenberg, but whom the Jews of Budapest knew and called the guardian Angel. My grandparents, uh, they uh, fighted to get their son back home, but they had to face the Swedish government's uh, secrecy mania. Long after we're gone, the world will remember and be inspired by the courage and the love and the sacrifice of Raoul Wallenberg. Raoul Wallenberg will remain a hero and an inspiration to us, especially because we are facing growing anti-Semitism, even Holocaust denial in our world right now. It's a very sobering moment. Um, when you go through this, and you realize the travail of so many that still recognize that suffering today. Every epoch in history would be blessed to have men and women like Raoul Wallenberg, who stand up 
for human dignity, for human life, and for freedom as he did. I was in Dachau in 83. I was in Auschwitz in 1990. I've been to Israel more times than I can count, both at the old Yad Vashem and the new Yad Vashem. And every time I go, I think of the power of one, of one individual, one man who can stand up. The people we honor today, whose lives have been given not only to this foundation, but also to this cause, Brooke Tenenbaum, Eduardo Yurnikin, and Guy Von Dardel, are so important to all of us. Wallenberg epitomizes what self-sacrifice for the sake of others in the context of indifference to human suffering is all about. The Speaker of the Assembly is probably the most uh, sought after seat, and he's held it now for record. I'm privileged to present this replica in grateful recognition of your leadership role in the passage of the legislation to award Raoul Wallenberg the Congressional Medal. So to Peter Rebenwurzel, I am particularly honored to make this presentation. This is something that, that we owed his family for the last 70 years. Um, we have to remember that if he saved 100,000 Hungarian Jews, today, 70 years later, it's probably a million. For people to gather almost 70 years to the date of an important activity in the life of a person who is no longer here, I think recognizes how tremendously important the example that was set through his life. On behalf of the 400,000 members of the Wiesenthal Center, I want to commend you and your team for putting together a remarkable event. And I want to present it to Peter and to Ezra. Uh, to the Raul Wallenberg Centennial Celebration Commission. Presented to Honorable Nan Hayworth in grateful recognition of your leadership role in the passage of legislation toward Raul Wallenberg, the Congressional Gold Medal, July 9, 2014. It's amazing uh, celebration of our uncle. And you cannot imagine what it means for us after all these years when he was almost ignored and now he has become a model in your country. May God bless the memory of Raoul Wallenberg. May God bless his family, his descendants, and may God bless all those who follow in his footsteps. This medal is not just a wonderful, great tribute to my great uncle and great hero, Raoul Wallenberg, but also a tribute to Tom and Annette's tireless work to keep Raoul's legacy alive. Before Tom Lantos, was even elected to the House of Representatives in 1980. At the kitchen table, there were two women that were plotting strategy. One is, in my, one is on my right and one is on my left. When Tom Lantos got elected to the Congress, the very first official act, he introduced the legislation that would result in Raul Wallenberg becoming a United States citizen, an honorary United States citizen, which happened in 1981. And here today, your, your name and your, and your late husband's name is coming up. And um, I'm very honored. <laughs> it's very easy for me to speak about my mother in this concept of uh, saving Raoul. She never lost faith. Thank you. And thank you very much for all of you who remember. And I think our our major effort at this point is directed towards we must never forget. <laughs>